Okay, I'm calling this video a brief look at a perpetual motion machine. And um, this is not a perpetual motion machine, but it is basically, if, if we ever did come up with something like that, uh, there's been a lot of controversy about what is a perpetual motion machine. And uh, it is something that would run for eternity it would not stop it would just keep on going for eternity and that's really an impossibility because I don't think there is a an end point where um, you could say that's eternity but anyway um, this thing here is this circuit basically with a couple of variations uh, it's that two transistor complementary transistor circuit this is another variant of it here, and uh, this is another variant of it here. But this one here, it uh, is Laser Saber's uh, Easy Spin with a supercapacitor instead of a battery of any kind. And then this is a, a um, photo um, solar panel out of a keychain light that's uh, 5 volts. And it overcharges this. You can see how it's starting to bulge. It, it may burst. I don't know. But it's got started last summer. And uh, now we're into May. Heading into May here. And from here on in, the sun that comes in this window will be more and more and more. Because this is facing uh, the opposite way of the sun uh, setting. So from here on in, I think this is just going to get faster and faster. And this may end up bursting, but it runs nonstop, 24 hours a day. And uh, back way back in 2007, when I started working on this crazy stuff, this is really all I wanted. I just wanted something that ran all the time. Uh, you never had to change the battery on it. And uh, um, a, a small solar cell or solar panel is where it got its energy, but it never stopped. It just ran all the time. And uh, watches, these citizen watches, have the same kind of idea. They have a battery for storing energy, but they take in the energy through a solar cell behind the faceplate. But these are my uh, non-stop running devices uh, and lights and stuff that I have along this wall here. And uh, this would be the easiest one for someone to replicate. Um, this is a solar garden, uh, or solar... Uh, waving flower they call them I guess and you just take it apart and right where the solar panel is you put in some wires and you come around here with a um, 30k resistor from the positive end of a AAA or AA battery and it goes right back into the uh, solar uh, panel and that's been running this will be beyond a year for that thing there. And it hasn't burst the battery. The battery hasn't gone dead. And this would be the easiest thing for someone to replicate is that. Where you put a, a alkaline battery, a good alkaline battery, with a 30K resistor to knock down the amp draw in parallel with the solar panel. And that just goes and goes and goes. But anyway, this one here is the one that... Uh, it's the closest thing I'll ever get to a perpetual motion machine because the capacitor, if I did this with a, a better uh, capacitor arrangement, uh, won't have to be replaced. It's a capacitor. And the energy here, um, year-round, even during the rainy season, it got enough light energy from this area here to charge that capacitor up and let the thing run through the night and then uh, as long as it keeps running it it uh, it doesn't stop which to me is like a perpetual motion machine but it's uh, what I'm calling non-stop running devices uh, this these are uh, the ones on the window here let me go over here and I'll show you the other one that I've been working with and this one I called the yearling and it was a device that had uh, a one AAA battery in the back there and I was trying to get this one here to run a year on the AAA battery and uh, it has stopped a couple of times in the course of the year and I found out that their problem was on this is these batteries vary and if you get a cheap battery 
uh, they drop down below the voltage that this thing can trigger at and it stops so what you need is a real good probably a Duracell battery or something like that that holds that 1.5 volts or better to keep this thing running uh, for the whole year now I happen to lucked out here I got a good battery somehow and uh, this has been running for a couple of months and the idea of this was to see if you could run something for a year anyway that's the update on my non-stop running devices um, brief look at perpetual motion thanks